it's popping i'm back at it again with another makeup tutorial so this one's a little bit different there is a giveaway i'm not telling you guys where in the video the giveaway is at but there is a giveaway i'm not lying to you guys um anyways this is different i don't really do this that often i did keep the colorful lit crease because i love to be colorful so i did just make the lid a dark color and I hope you guys like it. Give this video a thumbs up. Like like, and subscribe. And make sure you guys watch to see what the giveaway okay. is. So we're going to be starting with the Be Bella Cosmetics. This is the B35B. I just got it. I'm so excited. I swatched just the shimmers. So you can kind of see my swatch marks right there. It is so pigmented. I don't know about the mattes. And well, we're going to figure out. I don't know what look I'm going for. So... I'm just gonna figure that out and yeah okay as you can tell I already did my eyebrows I set my eyes but the first color we are going into will be this yellow color right here all right I'm just going in with the BH cosmetics number three from the smoky eye collection okay so that color I forgot to mention that I focused on the crease and I dragged it up kind of high but now we are going to be going into this orange color right here. And I'm using the Be Bella Pro Blender number 124. And we're just going to kind of focus that below the yellow and kind of on top of it. Now I'm going into this dark pink right here. And I'm going to be using the same exact brush. Still kind of has some orange this one i'm going to be focusing it more in the middle but also way down here so i'll be using a different brush for that and i'm going to drag it out i forgot to mention that the pigment in these mattes are besides for that now i'm going to be going in with the same exact brush but i'm going to be going into this dark purple over here so I'm going back in with the purple but I'm going to be dragging it into my crease so I decided I'm actually going to be going for more of a smoky eye look a colorful smoky eye so now <laughs> we're going to be going into that deep dark blue that we have right here and we're going to put that like on top of the purple but dragging it down just a tad bit not too much but just a tad bit now i'm going to be going into this black right here and i'm going to put that on top of the lid and i'm just going to be using this profusion little blending brush my face I kind of color concealed because I do have some red spots I don't know why to do so I'm going in with my Maybelline fit me shade 220 I'm just going to blend it out with my real techniques beauty blender to set that face set this with the Remuel stay matte shade four sandstorm with the real techniques buffing brush i'm just going to set the rest of my face yes i did put powder before i put on my concealer i meant to do that i but i'm going to be going in with this maybelline age rewind shade light i don't know i never tried it it's new i just bought it i don't know how this really works we're gonna find out right now and hopefully it's my shade
light. You can't really tell that I am really actually wearing concealer. But I kind of like it because if I want something... If I want to wear concealer but not really it be too, too thick, too heavy, then yeah, it's great. But maybe if there's a lighter shade, it would fit me better if I want more of that bright under I'm eye. I'm just going in with my air spun setting translucent powder just to set my under eyes and wherever I conceal. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with my Cheeky Trio with the same no brand contouring brush. Okay, so I'm just going to be adding a little bit of blush, same from the Cheeky Trio, this nice pink. It's cute. It's cute. So now I'm going to be smoking out my under eyes with the BH Cosmetics number 3. This one. Um, I'm just going to be going back in with the same exact colors. to give it a nice straight line and to make it look really and nice. And now I'm going in with my little handy dandy elf. And okay, so I'm giving away this B Bella Cosmetics palette. It's the B35B and it will come with the plastic. I'm going to take it off right now. It is brand new. I paid for it with my own money. So this video is not sponsored they did not give it to me but this is the palette i hope you guys like it the rules are really freaking simple all you have to do to win this palette is um you need to one be subscribed two you need to like this video three you need to comment down below where i can contact you whether it's an email snapchat twitter instagram any anything just comment down below your where I can contact you on and even if I have you on anything like phone number or any type of social media still comment it down below because that is part of the rules you do have to comment down below so you will be entered into the giveaway now this giveaway for this palette is going to end next Tuesday on August we're in August, right? On August 15th. This giveaway ends on August 15th. Next Tuesday. I will be... It will be... You have until 9 o'clock p.m. On Tuesday night to enter this giveaway. Again, this is... I I live in California. So, you know, just check, check the time. If you live in a different state. But, um... Yeah, it's pretty easy to win this palette. You will get the box it originally comes in, and I will send it pretty good. I, it will come with the bubble wrap too, and the bubble wrap in the box. So uh, just, you're good. You just need to enter the giveaway, and uh, yeah, see you guys next time and good luck to all of you guys that enter i wish you guys the best if you want to see who wins the giveaway on tuesday night or wednesday morning follow me on snapchat i will be announcing it there for sure so going in with the yeah. same exact brush and the same exact thing but instead i'm using the silver one and this is the number 131 detail smudger by b bella cosmetics Okay, so I put on some falsies, I put on mascara on the bottom lash line, you can't really tell because it is black, but I'm going to be going in with Ice Cold from Jeffree Star. <laughs> One highlight.
highlight is never enough for me and since it is a really colorful look i am going in with a lavender snow also by jeffree star yes <laughs> The Melted Matte, this one is shade Lady Ball. So I'm going to be setting my face with the Mario Badescu spray. I love this spray, by the way. Ooh, that felt great. And now I'm going in with the NYX dewy finish because i don't like when my face can sometimes get dry because of the foundation so this is the final completed look um i hope you guys really enjoyed watching it just as much as i enjoyed making it it is something different i don't really do this that often i don't do a black lid um i really like doing colorful colors so i still stuck with the colorful um crease so if you guys recreate it just tag me in it on my social media will be down below but anyways until my next video bye